if sometimes your engine doesn't run as smooth as it should or the carburetor gives you trouble with adjustment it may be that you have the mesh screen clogged what is the mesh screen where it is how to clean it and how to put it back together well we will find out in today's episode stay with us make sure that you measure the springs and release the tension and direct the cable Hello there, my name is Stefan, welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series, a series in which we will show you how to properly adjust, tune and repair your engine. For this operation we will use a few simple tools, Philips screwdriver, pick tool, cooking plate or whatever plate you can find for placing the parts and washing them, rag, eye protection, brush and gloves. First, we need to remove the air filter. We covered the correct removal and installation of the air filter in one of the previous episodes. I will put a link in the description, so please be sure that you watch that video. Once the air box removed, now we have access to the fuel pump part of the carburetor and the mysterious screen is right under the pump. We remove the four screws. After removing the screws, we can remove the cover. Be sure not to damage the fuel pump and the gasket. So here we have the fuel pump membrane. Please be very gentle because the gasket is very, very easy to damage. As you can see, this is the mesh that can get clogged with any kind of debris or dirt that can go from the tank through the fuel hose into the carburetor. The Torazzi fuel tanks, the fuel tanks that we are, we are using on our paramotors, are equipped with an inside fuel filter. So it's really hard for this mesh to get clogged, but anyway, it's recommended to check it every 50 hours or so. So one way of cleaning it is using compressed air, but be sure that you apply gentle pressure on the screen so when you blow with compressed air, the screen doesn't pop out. Now we are sure that this, this screen mesh is completely free of dirt and any kind of residues so the fuel flows without any restrictions and we should proceed with the installation of the membranes back. So the order is membrane down, the gasket up, placing the cover. In. Quick tip, when you first tighten the screws down, just make them snug, all four of them, in, a, in the X, in an X pattern, and then you can proceed with tighten them down. Now the carburetor is assembled and we can proceed with installation of the airbox. Now that we clean the internal fuel filter of the carburetor, we can be sure that the fuel flows without any kind of restrictions and we can proceed with adjustment of the carburetor if necessary. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure that you hit the like and subscribe button because we will continue this series in which we will cover every single aspect of maintaining and servicing your engine.
I just want to let you know that whatever you will need, parts for the Scout paramotors or for Vitorazzi engines, you can find them very easy and accessible online on our eShop with the next day delivery. Thank you, see you in the next one.